Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to our final match in Group F's Round 2. We have got Reizar going up against Finn Balor. This is Kosovo up against Ireland. Now, um, from the first set of matches, Ireland um, got the victory. Kosovo lost, I believe, to Finland. Let me get this thing open. Oh, I've got two. Oh, that's good. I've got two windows open. They're both exactly the same thing. Let me just change one into the Euros. Yes, yeah, so here we are. Uh, group stages. Right, there we go. Yes, yeah, so currently, uh, yeah, Finn Balor sits on one. Uh, Razor on zero. Razor losing to Ludwig Borger, while Finn Balor defeated Alex Kozlov. Um, since then, of course, uh, Borger has faced off against Kozlov and won. So Ludwig Borger is now on two, which I think has more or less confirmed him through. If Finn Balor wins here, then Borger and Balor will fight on the final uh, of the matches for the top of the group. Whereas Reza and Alex Kozlov will end up fighting to see who finishes third and fourth in the group. So there's a lot up for grabs still. Of course, three matches for you today. Uh, we've got this one, and then we'll be finishing off Group A. Um, two more matches coming up today. Noam Dar versus Andre the Giant, and Karl Gotch versus Ilja Dragunov. The two winners of that will go through to the next round. Um, as we're one of the losers, but it will depend on the match between the two losers to who actually makes it through. Of course, um, first and second go through into singles matches, and then all six of the third places will go into two triple threats. Um, to um, to go into the knockout stage as well. So there's still an opportunity. All we lose at this point are the people that finish in fourth. Uh, but this is doing pretty well for completely opening up our ranking system as well. Some people are really taking advantage of that and getting themselves a lot of points. Others not so much. People I thought would do pretty well are struggling. And some people I thought would struggle doing pretty well. So it's pretty much up and down at the moment the wrong tab once again there we go but Finn Balor is in control this now he does head up to the top if he's considering a coup de grace no as Rezar gets back up to his feet and Finn went for a drop kick and he completely buggered it I mean well and truly buggered that drop kick Rezar big running splash in the corner a win here for Rezar really would blow this group wide open it really would As Finn gets spun around by Razar. Razar, wow. Finn just went for a running forearm and Razar just slapped him out of the air like he was a fly. Razar now with the big elbows in the gut. We will see more of Razar at some point as well when we do our Brawl for All tournament, I think. Uh, Reza, if I'm correct, is Razar the one who has the, uh, the mixed martial art background as well? Rezar, let's check it is him. Yes, Rezar has got a 6 and 2 MMA record. So when we do our Brawl for All tournament, I'm sure Rezar will be involved in that as he gets flat faced into the map by Finn Balor. Balor now just twisting the neck. Really causing pain as he drops the double foot stomp into the gut and the big boot across the gut as well. There's the pin by Finn Balor. Not enough. As Balor now wrenching back at the arm of Razar. I miss um, Paul Ellering as part of the, of the group. I thought he was pretty damn good, to be honest. And I think the fact that he used to manage the Legion of Doom was really cool as well. Of course, my idea in this universe mode is to have the Authors of Pain alongside Mark Henry as part of a stable called the Hall of Pain. Reza now bringing Bala up to a seated base before twisting away at the neck. And the more this match has gone, the more that Reza has really come into it, you know. Like I said, the final round of matches will be Razar versus Kozlov and Finn Balor versus Ludwig Borger. And at the moment, say if it's down to this match at the moment, really. 
See, if Finn wins, then it's between Finn and Borgo 1 and 2 um, to fight for the top and second place in the final match. That would also leave uh, Rezar um, against Alex Kozlov to fight for third place. If Rezar wins this, he'll move up to 1 alongside Finn Balor. Borgo up on 2. And then it means if Rezar defeats Kozlov, then uh, Balor can't finish ahead of Rezar. So it's, it's a big, big match, this one. I do feel like on paper, Finn should be the victor, but you never know. Finn with the big dragon screw taking down Rezar as Akam now up on the apron. And Finn just completely ignores him. That's wise by Finn not allowing Akam to get in this match and distract him. Big knee in the face by... Razor, but Finn's back up and Finn is busted open. He is rocking that crimson mask. And Razor now big loose powerbomb stacks Finn up for the pin. Holy hell, he's got it. He has got it. What a win for Razor. Wow, I was not expecting that. Finn Balor, who's fourth in the rankings as well, suffers a singles loss. And, uh, yeah, that has completely opened up for Razar, who gets his first things victory and then really sending a message, dropping the boots into the gut of Finn Balor. Referee having to pull Razar away. And Razar seems to have found himself here. Really found himself. This is going to be the biggest win of his career. And uh, I think he may have just confirmed himself a place in the next round. So Razar, of course, will have his final match against Alex Kozlov. Finn Balor... Um, will also face off against um, Ludwig Borgia. And, um, yeah, it's all open now, then. It really is all open. Um, yeah, Borgia up on two points. Ballot and Rezar on one. And Alex Kozlov on zero. Okay, we'll leave it there for today. Hope you've enjoyed. Of course, if you have open, uh, open. Like, subscribe, and all the other good stuff. And I will see you again a little bit later on. Like I said, two more matches for you today from Group A, the final two group matches there. Uh, Noam Dar versus Andre the Giant Carl Gotch versus Ilja Dragunov both of those matches completely decide who goes through in Group A because Group A at the moment all four men sit on one point so it's a massive massive set of matches that one and two you're not going to want to miss out on later on anyway I'm going to leave you there good night god bless Alvina Sane I'll see you all next time bye bye